Hey, welcome to Board Game Casual. Today, we're looking at a great, affordable way to upgrade your copy of Champions of Midgard by replacing the cardboard money tokens with some awesome metal coins from Amazon. I'm not super big into spending money to upgrade every little thing in a board game, but I do think that metal coins really up the experience. This is a set of 100 fantasy coins with fake leather pouch made by Baihu, which I got for about 25 bucks. The coins also come in a set of 50 for about $16 if you want to spend a little less. For Champions of Midgard, you're going to need 60 coins. Honestly, though, it's probably rare that you would use all 60 coins in a game. So if you wanted to save some money, you could go with the cheaper 50 count set. And then you could always use 10 of the stock cardboard tokens for overflow if you really need it. I happen to have another game that these coins are perfect for, which will require another 20 coins. So I went ahead and bought the 100 count set to cover both games. So stay tuned for another video where I'll talk about upgrading that game as well. And if you happen to have a guess of what that other game is that requires 20 dragon style coins, put it down in the comments. There are actually two different styles of coins made by this company on Amazon. The other looks pretty great as well. It features more illustrative dragon icons on both sides. The back has this really cool dragon scale pattern. To be honest, I had a hard time deciding which style I wanted. Even though this other set with the dragon scales looks a little more modern and a little more fantasy, the dragon icons to me looked a bit like the mastheads you'd see on a Viking ship. On the other hand, I felt like this style was a little more abstract and ancient looking. And to me, the spiral pattern looked a little more Nordic. Ultimately, the deciding factor was at the time of my purchase, these had an extra 10% off coupon on them, so I went with these to save some money. Honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with either one. The coins themselves are awesome. The first thing I noticed when I got these coins was the quality. They have a nice weight to them, and they look pretty darn cool. They've got intricate details on both sides. A dragon on the head side, and a flower weave spiral pattern on the tail side. They feel really good in the hand, and they don't have any burrs or jagged edges. This is also just about my ideal size for a board game coin. They're a little bigger than a US quarter. Here they are compared to the stock cardboard coins that come with Champions of Midgard you can see they're quite a bit larger. For comparison's sake, here they are next to one of the gold pirate doubloons I purchased as an upgrade for Lost Ruins of Arnak, which are considerably smaller. By the way, I've got a whole video for these pirate doubloons as an upgrade for Lost Ruins of Arnak on the channel if you're interested, so be sure to check that one out. Lost Ruins of Arnak only needs 27 coins, and I bought a set of 100. Had I not already given away a bunch of these coins to a friend for his copy of Arnak, I probably would have just tossed 60 of these coins into my copy of Champions of Midgard. But since I didn't have enough left over, I figured it was a good opportunity to look for a coin that's a little more fitting. While these Spanish-style coins, I think, really complement the theme of Lost Ruins, I think these dragon coins look a lot more Viking-ish and fit in much better with Champions of Midgard. I mean, these coins really feel at home in the game, and it makes it that much more rewarding to collect a chunky gold coin for defeating a Draugr. Hearing the clink of gold coins stack up on monsters going unchallenged also makes them that much more tempting to go fight. They're a perfect fit for the game, and they look like they belong. People would never know they weren't a stock part of the game. I suppose I should mention that this set also comes with this faux leather dragon scale pouch, which is whatever. One side has a set of glow-in-the-dark dragon eyes on it. For what it's worth, the pouch actually seems pretty decent. It's a lot more heavy duty than I was expecting, and it even has a spring clip for the drawstring. I suppose I'll use it to store the coins and throw the whole thing in the box. I didn't get these things for the pouch, but it's a nice bonus watch my other videos then you probably noticed I'm just not a fan of cardboard coins or cardboard money tokens. It's subtle but the tactile feel of metal coins really make for a more immersive experience. Your brain naturally connects with the weight, sound, and touch of metal making every interaction feel more intuitive and engaging in a way that cardboard tokens can't replicate. 
This set of 100 coins came out to a little over 24 cents a coin. That means the 60 coins I'm putting into Champions of Midgard cost me between 14 and 15 bucks. So are these cheap metal coins from Amazon worth the upgrade for Champions of Midgard? In my book, absolutely. They're affordable, they enhance the gaming experience, and they look fantastic. And if you get the 100 pack like I did, you'll have extra coins to throw in another game. If you're a fan of Champions of Midgard, I highly, highly recommend giving these metal coins a shot. Your Viking adventures will never be the same. Thanks for tuning in today, and if you decide to grab these coins, let me know how you like them down in the comments. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.